In this module, we will continue learning how to record a variable. In the earlier module, we studied how to, how to record a quantitative variable into a qualitative variable. But now, we will learn how to record a pre-existing categorical variable and record it with different codes. We'll continue using the ulcer recurrence data. And here we have one qualitative variable that's treatment, where code one is given for treatment B and code zero is given for treatment A. Let's say we want to convert the code one for treatment B but for treatment A, instead of keeping it zero, we want to convert it into two. To make this change, one way is you keep typing it in each and every category for each and every case. But the much smarter way is to use SPSS to do it. And in this case, we go on the transform, record into the different variable. Since we have already performed this age function, so we click on reset and it will reset all the previous selections we have made. Now we want to convert our treatment group variable into our recorded treatment. We want to bring new codes for treatments and click change. We go to the old values and new values. So old value is one for treatment B and we want to keep it one. But for treatment A, the old value is zero, but now we want to call it two. So here is our algorithm. One goes to one and zero will be transformed to two. And that's the new code. So now in our new variable that's going, going to be created, one will represent treatment B and two will represent treatment A. You press continue and press OK. The change has occurred. A new variable is created, recorded underscore treatment. But Again, recording will not put all the value labels with it. So to put the value labels with this data, we simply go to the recorded treatment variable and put the new code here. So in our new codes, value one represents treatment B. And numeric code two represents treatment A, one click add. One can also change, since in our original data, it's only A and B written instead of treatment B and treatment A. So one can simply change it by clicking on it, making the changes that's desired and click on change. And the whole change will be applied. and simply press OK. Again, we have no decimal position, so we keep them decimal positions to be equals to zero. We look at the data view, and our new codes have been assigned to the treatments. Just to make sure our data has the same, one can simply move these columns across by selecting them all, clicking, and moving them. and dropping it wherever we want to. So you see, there's a new code here. Code one, 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 one. That would represent all treatment B. Zero is recorded as two now. Zero represents treatment A in treatment variable, and in the recorded treatment variable, it also rep two represents treatment A. And if you click on the value labels, one can really confirm that the change that we have made is occurred in a very good manner for each and every case available to us. Thank you.